Hello, hello, dear friends. My name is Victoria Moro, and this is release of the day. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you can find a lot of news about indie artists and music. Hello, hello, dear friends. I'm so happy to be here with you tonight. And now for this interview together with me is very, very beautiful lady and very amazing artist. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Great. Always great. Especially if I have so beautiful guests here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are you be. ready? Yes. Okay. And then we start. Your name? Anissa. Where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, New York, born and raised. Your music style? International pop. The last song you listened to? The last song I listened to? Probably something Rosalia. Oh, nice. Good, good. And your favorite movie or TV series? Uh, white chicks. <laughs> You're prepared for everything. So who he comes first? It's amazing. It's really, really amazing. Okay, the best book you read? Uh, to Kill a Mockingbird. You know, you really know everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, simple question. Your favorite dish? Ooh. Uh, lamb Madonna kebab, Turkish food. Oh, do you like to cook? Yes, a little bit. Uh, I'm, I I like to cook. I don't like to do the dishes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice, but maybe you know some kind of nice Italian food, what you like? Oh, yeah. My, my house, we do Italian food on the regular. Chicken parmesan, ravioli, lasagna, pasta, all types. Ooh. We Listen, Italian, Italian <laughs> Albanians, we neighbors, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, you uh, you know a lot about Italy and especially about food. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, do you prefer dogs, cats or other animals? I love both dogs and cats. I used to only be a dog person, but as of recently, I started liking cats too. So I, I like both. I'd probably get a dog before a cat, but I like both animals. But now do you have some um, pets? No, no pets. No, 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 no pets yet. <laughs> okay, which artists influence you most of all? Um, one of my biggest influences growing up that really helped me develop like my tone when it was just like listening to them was like Nina Simone, uh, Adele, Amy Winehouse. Those are artists that really just um, helped me find like the richness in my voice. Um, but then I also love the pop artists, like I love the Britney Spears, the Justin Timberlakes, the Sia, Rihanna, Rihanna, she's amazing, um, yeah. Oh, nice. Actually, it's very famous and a really good, good artist. Fantastic. And have you... Mm, no, this I ask you later. Now, please, better explain to us your music in a sentence or even better in a word. Oh, that's a that's a good one. I'm trying to do it in a word. Um, oh, I don't know if I could do it in a word. Uh, okay, flavorful. Oh, just two words. It's okay. <laughs> nice, because actually for those two words, it's possible to understand a lot about your music. It's very, very good. Thank you. Okay, have you played any notable gigs, festivals or other events? Um, well, I did my first ever show at the legendary SOBs in New York where like every almost every big artist got their like start there. Um, festivals, I've only done one festival. 
and that was in Sacramento. It's lost in a rhythm, like uh, Burna Boy, Wizkid, um, a lot of big Afrobeat artists performed there. Um, yeah, I've done, I've, I've, I've performed at the Apollo Theater. That was amazing in New York. It's like a legendary venue. Um, yeah, I like to perform. I haven't gotten the chance to really perform as much as I wanted to yet, but soon, soon, soon. Oh, yes. Now I hope this tough time of everything lockdown yeah. and everything is finished and now yeah, exactly. possible to do again fantastic shows. Okay, please explain to us your best quality and what's your weak spot? Ah, oh, that's a good question. Um, I'd say my best quality is my persistence. Um, when I have my eyes set on something, I keep going, keep going until I get it done. So that's something good about me. I don't stop. I'm not a quitter. Um, the, the like worst thing about me is probably that I'm a perfectionist. So, you know, sometimes you got to just leave something and let it be. But me, I like to dig, dig, dig until it's perfect. And sometimes, you know, perfection doesn't exist and you have to be okay with that. So, yeah, that's probably my weak spot. Yes. And after saying, you know, like perfection, don't have a limit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. All the time continue with your perfectionism forever and ever. Exactly. Yeah. But sometimes I think it's good quality if yeah, it's... it's yeah, controlled. It's, it's, if it's, it's controlled, a, yes, it's, it's a mix of both. It could be a good and a bad, and like you know, a bad thing. But it's it's mostly it's, it's not it's not a horrible thing. Well, yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> okay, in what you believe in general? In general, I believe in having a good heart, and I believe if you have a good heart, you're kind to people, and you're genuine and real with and authentic with whatever you do. Um, God sees and God rewards. So, um, yeah, that's what I believe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And explain to us your music creation process. Um, it depends. Um, every day it's, every time I'm in the studio, it's something different. So, uh, one day it could be, we'll start with the beat that I pick and, uh, you know, then I'll start, I usually get a mic in the room and then I'll start melodies over that beat and whatever happens comes out. Sometimes lyrics fall out, sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes we write lyrics and the melodies after, or sometimes I'm in one of those moods where I'll get by the piano and just start writing some chords and start slowly building the song together. And yeah, but I definitely always have a, a mic inside the room and Whenever I get the chords and the music right, then I'll just I'll just like have melodies flow out of my mouth and record all those takes and then you know lyrics. Lyrics are usually last. Actually, the demo is last, but the lyrics come after you figure out the melody. Sometimes the lyrics fall inside of melody. So. Oh, nice, nice. But actually, you write the lyrics for yourself. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm a songwriter. Great. But what do you think about talent shows? I think I think they're great. I think uh, I encourage people um, that want to pursue anything and any talent. Um, I encourage them to go be seen by whoever they can be seen by. We have the internet now, so we're really lucky that we can access so many people around the world. But um, talent shows are another great way for people to see your talent. And I started doing that when I was in middle school. So oh, <laughs> it's, yeah. a good way to, it's a good way to wow. get experience, you know, and get over like stage fright and stuff like that. Good. Thank you so much for your nice answer. And now, please, if you can, sing to us 15 seconds, one of your favorite song a cappella. Oh, OK. Um, I guess I'll sing some of my new song. Of course. Um, and it's called Just a Kiss. Mwah. Um, okay, let me see. Come go ahead and try, baby, you'll never be my type. One thing you'll get tonight is just a little kiss goodbye. Mwah. <laughs> oh, thank you so, so much. It was very nice. You have beautiful voice, nice timbre and very good expression, actually. Thank you. I just woke up. And I didn't drink any water, so 
Oh, uh, yes, because <laughs> we have super different time. Yes, I am agree. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, and now our final question. Tell to us about your music project and your future plans. Yeah, I'm working on an album, putting that together right now. I'm making music that I truly love, which is amazing. And I'm just planning to keep consistently dropping more and more and more. Um, then I'm also hopefully planning to go on tour next year and you know visit parts of the world that show my music love. And um, yeah, just dropping more music and performing it live and meeting the fans. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. But maybe you can explain where people can find your music, your website or yes. whatever. I'm usually at E-N-I-S-A on everything. You just look up Anissa and I should pop up, whether it's on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music. And my Instagram is I am Anissa. So, yeah, uh, you can find me on all socials. Um, you'll be updated about my life every day. <laughs> I'm a social media person. I post a lot. Um, I'm on TikTok, Twitter. I'm on all the social medias. Facebook, you name it, I'm on it. Um, yeah. Thank you so, so much for your nice answers, for this interview, and thank you for your time. Because it was very nice to have you here with us and talk with you. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. And uh, just what song are we going to listen to now? You guys are going to listen to my new song, Just a Kiss. Mwah. Okay, and about what is the song? Well, the song is about um, the power people have when it comes to uh, relationships and dating and having fun. It's like the power in being a tease and sometimes not wanting something serious and just wanting to have some fun and um, just knowing that you have the power to say yes or no. It's a really fun like girl power anthem and this one is it's just like a fun song that I've always loved since the second we made it. Um, and it pays homage to a very famous um, Turkish song. Um, the melody is a very familiar melody in the hook and I purposely did that because I grew up listening to that song. It's a Tarkan song um, and that's why it has that sense of nostalgia, but I wanted to make it updated and like to make it 2022 edition. So that's what I did. Oh, thank you so much for your time. And now please enjoy the song, Just a Kiss. Watching me from across the room, like all of the other guys.
Goodbye.